Um, I think you said, I read it quickly this morning, that your kids play together, I think. Um, but super exciting. So I just wanted to say congrats. That's super fun. Thank you. Really Thank you. Awesome. Anything you want to share about that? How it happened? Um, I, I, um, can you hear me? Okay. Um, she, I knew from a few years ago, she had told me that she was doing 21 day fix. And then I was like, oh, well, let me ask to see what she's doing. And so it just kind of went from there. Once I found out she wasn't doing anything, um, I was like, oh, well, you want to start again? And she was like, yeah, sure. So that's how it kind of went. That is awesome. So congratulations. I saw that last night. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. Thank you. Um, and I just have a couple things to share with people just about like follow-ups. I'm trying to look for it real quick. Um, but like, I'm always playing around with like, actually I have it saved on my computer. I'm always playing around with like different follow-ups. Um, and I mean, like my latest one around the new year is the perfect time to follow up with people. I find it's really easy because it's like, hey, it's the new year. How are things going? How are your holidays? Um, so I don't care how many times people have ghosted. Like some of these, like this message is actually off of people that this is like my fourth time shooting on a message. And I actually did have a couple people respond to it yesterday. But I just simply said, like, hope you had a great holiday. I know you initially reached out wanting to work together. I'm sure there was a reason and more out of what you were doing wanted. Are you at a place that you're seeing change and no longer needing or wanting additional coaching? I do have a new group beginning Monday, so I didn't want you to miss out. Um, I'm if happy with progress, all good. Look forward to hearing back either way. So I'm just like shooting out follow-ups left and right. Um, the new year hopefully is a great time for all of us here because this is our busy season. <laughs> I actually had two people December 26, literally the day after the holiday that ghosted on me one back in February and one who actually lives, she's coming to pick up some containers that I was like, Oh, you can have them free. Um, she bought a challenge pack and she ghosted on me two months ago, literally December 26. I'm ready and signed up with challenge packs like within five minutes. So this is the importance of why we always show up and keep going because if we stop posting that's like shutting down your business and when people are ready they're like oh they closed oh that sucks okay next person um so that's just a huge benefit to being consistent yeah i agree it is i'm trying to it's hard like right now I'm off work for like about two weeks for automotive. It kind of like shuts down. And I'll tell you what, it's another thing. It's just another example of like how having momentum and keeping up your momentum keeps you moving forward, even though it feels like exhausting and tiring. And you think you like, oh, I can't wait for a break. Well, this break that I've had, I've been so freaking lazy because I'm out of my routine of like just my daily stuff. I'm still working out. I'm still eating well. Like, you know, that's, that's not so hard for me. It's just like, we lay on the couch all day long and watch TV. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I've laid on the couch for so many hours. I could have been like typing posts. I could have been, and that's not, it doesn't even take much energy, but I was like, my mind is numbed. I'm not thinking or doing anything. And it was now I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to use my time more wisely because I just got stuck in that funk of like in the zone of vegging out my mind mentally and you just gave me that little bit of the tweak that I needed because it is this is the perfect time to reach out to people right now you're more likely to get a yes and um yeah it's hard to like what people struggle with with fitness which I don't have that problem for because I know that I can get myself up, up off the couch to do my 20 or 30 minutes but it is the emotion, the mental game of getting back in for other people. Like this is the time to communicate. And something interesting, I just remembered, um, I had somebody who has reached out multiple times. She always buys a challenge pack and then she freaking disappears. And she actually just enrolled in my app for a full year. And she reached out and was like, oh my gosh, I need help. Blah, 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 blah. And then like disappeared. And I was like, I immediately messaged her back and I was like, where the fuck did she go? And the next day I just put question mark. 
And this is very telling. She said, oh my gosh, I was actually out tubing with my kids and I literally was in disgust and immediately messaged you. And then like the day just got away from me, which you guys that, I mean, I was like, thank you for saying that because I'm going to be honest. I wonder where the hell people go overnight when you guys were like, help. And then you just disappear. But she, and I knew that this happened, but it's like, I wanted to hear someone say it. They're messaging you in the heat of the moment. They are messaging you when they're like, oh my God, I feel so disgusting. Jonna, please help me. And then the moment passes. You know, I know like for me, like if I'm in a bad place, I'm like, I need to talk about it now. And if someone's like, oh, I can't talk right now. And then like they mess, you know, they're like two hours later, like, hey, what did you need earlier? It's like, you're out of that moment. You're out of that emotion and you're over it. You don't want to talk about it anymore. It's like, no, I'm good. I'm fine. Um, and so that was very interesting. And she was like, yeah, I was just, I was so disgusted yesterday, but I was out with my kids, but she took time to get out her phone and message me. Um, and she did enroll, but it's just, that's what's happening to a lot of people. They are messaging you at a low point and then the moment probably passes. So I will actually share my follow-ups in Team Aloha because what I'm trying to do now is acknowledge like you reached out. There's a reason you reached out. Let's talk about that. You know, are you past the moment? Are you doing something on your own? That's cool. But you reached out. So you're not happy with something and I would love to help you. But if you don't want that, cool. Let me know and I'm out. Um, so yeah, I thought that that was really interesting. Yeah. And I said about I always wonder, do other parents do this? Like, we are so fucking lazy. <laughs> I know. I, was, I just told Tony, <laughs> I told Tony yesterday, I'm like, oh my gosh. But yeah, it was, it was lovely. Ava was gone. And especially when she's gone, it's really easy for us to do nothing. <laughs> so yeah, but no, it's funny. I, um, but it is like, I'm reminding myself again, you know, we need these constant reminders too of even, you know, your current current people like it's just remembering to communicate with even your current people to get them like you know reinvigorated because we need we need the people we have and we need new people and um it's just you know you start thinking in your mind that these people you know like you know they don't need you or they don't want you well it just wasn't that right moment at that time you know and even getting new getting your current people reinvigorated again i think is really important for the new year um so yeah, just trying to remind myself of that and feel like I want to get busy, you know, reaching out again. Well, I, I literally I don't have um, like kids and like have them being away or like, I don't have a break from my normal <laughs> job. I mean, I'm still doing the same thing I've always been doing and I'm having the same thing. I'm like, oh, it's the holidays. Oh, like, I'm just going to kind of take, I'm just going to kind of like for like rest for the till the end of the year like that's kind of the mentality that I've been having having I mean I know I've been like going through something but I think even if not I'd still be kind of like taking time to just rest and like take a break right now so I know I need to get back to it and I'm like I definitely will and but probably it's not going to happen because I work Monday and Tuesday so probably for me it's not going to happen until until like Wednesday because when I work anesthesia I really don't um, I really don't like, I just don't have the time or the energy to, to put so much towards my business. I mean, I can do little things, you know, I can maintain it, but I'm not like, I'm not like I'm, I'm gone, you know, I'm working. So I'm not like doing a bunch of stuff towards my business. So it probably won't happen till Wednesday. And I don't think that that's going to make it where I'm going to like lose anything. You know, it's just, I'm going to start, you know, then. So I have a plan to start back up and reach back out and start, you know, seeing where my people are at and trying to get more people into my sisterhood group and, you know, doing all that. So, yeah, I find, I've been reminding myself that I, I love the idea of taking breaks and I don't like, I don't overexert myself in my day. So don't get me wrong. I'm not like running myself ragged. I'm just either busy or not busy. I do find that I've got to remind myself that it, it's not like a ton. Like I don't have to do a ton. I just have to do something to keep me going. Just the same way as, you know, doing the, you know, doing tw transform 20 for 20 minutes. That that's a big deal. And I got to remind myself that even if I send a message to two people, that's a big deal for me. But if I send a message to zero people, then I'm going to have zero like progress whatsoever. So I'm, I just, I'm trying to remind myself of that. It's more me, my, that's my mental talk to myself, <laughs> you know, is remembering that those little things, they do matter and can get momentum.
and as, and I can still rest while I'm doing that. I'm like, what's my excuse? That's, I have no excuse for not like sending out a couple messages to a couple people, you know, but that's been my work in progress. That's a good point because I feel like a lot of people, not just only with like their fitness goals and their health goals and their business goals, they all do like a lot of us do that. It's like all or nothing. It's like, oh, I have to do all these things on my to-do list or I'm just going to sit around and do nothing. And so it's like just picking, it's, you know, that consistency of picking those small, like picking three things that are, that are doable, you know, and getting them done that day or that week, you know, and, yeah. and holding yourself accountable to, to getting them finished, to complete, to completing them. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now. And remembering that they, they matter. Just those little things matter. Yep. For and sure. it can be done in five minutes. And then you did a five minute thing that otherwise you would have thought about <laughs> just reminding myself of those little easy things to do. Yeah, for sure. So literally that share that I read out loud and I did post in Aloha, I have someone who reached out November 7th. I've been following. I want to learn more about your app. I have one, two, three, four follow-ups. That last follow-up that I read out loud, she just messaged me back. What will this new group consist of? I'm in a funk. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll pick back up the conversation, but four follow-ups, you guys. Like, people are, like, at that point now where they're like, oh, the holidays are over. I'm fat. I'm lazy. Can I get some help? Um, so, there's that. Shoot, there was some, oh, <laughs> I thought this was funny. So I had somebody reach out the other day and she was like, oh my gosh, I need help. I'm so demotivated, but I'm really trying to have a baby. She has like a PCOS, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, how do you stay motivated? I think I talked about that last week where I was like, it has nothing to do with what motivates me. Like what the hell motivates you? So she never reached back out or like messaged me back. So I just put a question mark and she told me again about her goals. And she's like, I just don't have time. I'm so busy, uh, but you know, we're trying to have a baby and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, so you don't have time, but you could also say, I don't have time to have sex. Uh, you make time because you want a baby. And I was like, and then when your baby comes, you're going to make time to be an amazing mom. Like, you know, so this is all kind of like BS excuses. Um, yeah. So now where are you at? And I mean, I said it in a better way, but I did say, like, I could easily say, I don't have time for sex. And then there's no baby, but you make time. And she wrote back and she was like, uh, you're right. <laughs> I thought that was a great point out. <laughs> um, because yeah, I mean, it's just bullshit. People have called adapting to your life. Like you don't have time to pick up an apple versus a drive through but yet you're planning for a baby. Um, what do you think is going to happen when that happens? Like, it's just so interesting to me, like the mindset and I enjoy pointing it out. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when you were saying that. I'm like, oh, she doesn't have time. How is she gonna have time to be to have a baby? Like, where's you? Like, I, that's fucking funny. People's mindsets. Like, I mean, first of all, if you don't instill good habits in yourself, how are you ever gonna be able to instill like good habits in your child? You know, like, I mean, you're not even you're not even you're not even sure how to have those healthy habits for you. Your child's gonna grow up like not having healthy habits either, and you're just gonna perpetuate the you know, that cycle. Exactly. Yeah. Um, another analogy that I thought was like, was um, playing chess. So obviously for me, it works a little bit better, but you guys can still use like the same like idea that, you know, I'm teaching form behind the scenes and all these great things. And I posted recently, like monkey see monkey do, you know, we all talk about it, like monkey see monkey do I'm eating healthy. Guess what? They were my kids. Okay. But it's not really monkey see monkey do when it comes to programs. And that's why you need a coach because there is so much more behind the scenes that are going into it. The mindset pushing through the heart, you know, being like, Oh, that moves like different. I'm just going to go back to the easy. Um, and all these things. And I talked about in one of my groups that it's like a game of chess. I can look at a game of chess and be like, oh, just move pieces on the board. <laughs> I can play. Uh, are you aware of like the strategies behind that and learning the actual game and how much goes like that you actually have to know that you don't see? And so I was sharing about that. Like you guys, like this is what I'm helping you do. I'm helping you to understand like the mindset behind things. If it was as simple as buy a program, uh, <laughs> You all that follow my page would be at your goals, but it's not that simple. And it's not just look at what they're doing on screen because 
a lot of people just don't know how to move their body. Um, I mean, meal plans are simple. Like, what's the problem? Like, what, you can't read? Like, what's going on? It's not that simple. And so it's not necessarily like you see, like you do, and there's more to it. And that's why I want to help you. You know, I want you to, to see it, but also understand it. And I'm here to walk you through it. Like, I don't know. So that was like an analogy that I recently gave. Jonna, I love you. You're always just like, yeah, like you're like always agreeing with me. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I totally agree. <laughs> well, because it's all of the stuff that I've experienced just on my own, you know, journey. It will, because it was start out doing it. Okay. I can at least commit to the program and the plan. And I sucked at it all, but I do, I'm like a detail oriented person. So I paid attention to what they looked like, what I listened to what they said. I didn't just copy. And I just started being like, Oh, well, that feels different. You know, I trained myself through those tools, but it was because I paid attention to the details and started understanding it. You know, I always say my form app is literally listening to all the different coaches and repackaging it so that people understand it. People aren't listening. It blows my mind. My form checks come from the trainers. I'm listening. Sean T and T25 really focuses in on how to isolate your core in all moves. Um, 80 day obsession. She really focuses in on how to isolate the legs and really get like the glutes activated and all those things. I mean, the trainers literally are spoon feeding you the tools, but people just don't listen to them. Yeah. And Donna, your form, I love watching your stories. Like it is very, like it's clear as day how much you have progressed and your form is awesome. Like you look Thanks. really good in your videos. Thank so, you. Well, what, one of the other things that I realized going along with it was like when I first started, I had no muscle when I first started working out like zero, I was so weak. It was insane, which is why I was in so many aches and pains and all that stuff. But I, it also took time to stay in it long enough to get enough muscle to feel what my body was doing. Cause when I had no muscle, I couldn't feel, I couldn't, I couldn't engage a muscle because I didn't even know what it felt like or anything like that. So now that's where I've progressed so much over this past year is just because now I feel like I have the muscles. You can feel the muscles engaging. And like I said, I'm, I'm looking in the mirror when I'm doing it, I'm listening. And now I'm videotaping myself this whole year, which I think has made a big difference because I can actually see what I look like, you know? And, um, but yeah, it's, it is, the tools are there. People like, that's why you know that people need a bunch of different ways to hear things and a bunch of different repetitions of hearing things because doing a program doesn't mean you're you're gonna use the information you have yep and actually your share i i don't know if you've ever shared that on your page but what you just said in the beginning i couldn't feel the muscles like i didn't know what the hell i was doing um how many people do you think that's happening to they're like i don't know what the hell you're talking about dude and so i think it would be very interesting to share. How long did that take? Um, I asked John one time on a live, I was like, how long did it take you to like get a new routine? Cause they're like 21 days to create a habit. He was like, fuck no. He was like, that was like three months of having to push yeah. through the heart of not wanting to work out. And yeah. after three months, it became more normal. Mm -hmm. And I was like, shit, that's a lot longer than I anticipated you saying. And so having yeah. people like I open to that, like, no guys, it's not just 21 days. And I love sharing, like, even if you do everything perfect, you did 21 day fix, you followed the meal plan, you showed up every damn day, and then you went back to your old lifestyle, 21 day fix was just made a quick fix. Like anything is a quick fix. I don't care if you did it all right. It's a quick fix. If you go right back to your old ways, it's a lifestyle. And, mm -hmm. you know, I feel very strongly on that. Um, something else that was very telling. I, so in my app community, I have coaches that are members and I had one that in the first program that she did with me, she was like there every day. The second program, I was like, dude, where'd you go? And I reached out to her yesterday and she was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I've just been kind of like bouncing around with different programs. You're right. I haven't been like, you know, participating in the group and she's a year member. So I was like, it's okay. I just wanted to see like, what's up with you. And she was like, you know, I always wonder where my members go. And she was like, that's frustrating. And she's like, and I just did it to you. And I said, well, now look inward. Where did you go? Why did you stop posting? What was going through your mind? And now share that with your clients. Like what frustrates her, she just did. So look inward, what's going on? You know, if you're someone that like, you know, came into the team page and you were like really gung ho for like a week and then you disappeared, well, what happened? Because when your people do that to you, it's something to look inward on and then share about, you know, what was your thought, your feeling and talk about it. 
Yeah, now is a great time for reflection. You're right. It's a good, this is a good time for reflection on where we came from to where we've been and be able to pick information out of that that is very good shareable stuff for people who are trying to just start now or restart or whatever the case may be. Yeah, that's good motivation right there. I'm actually curious, what would you guys say if somebody asked you, well, how quickly will I see change if I join you? So my, for my answer, first of all, <laughs> is definitely, I do, there is something through my experience to the 21 days, especially if you're looking at like a 21 day fix program. And I do think that most people will feel a difference. First of all, you'll definitely feel different. And second of all, most likely you will be able to see a difference. But I also noticed that some people can gain a little weight in those first 21 days if they're not paying attention to their eating or if they're, if they have had no muscle before period. Cause I definitely saw like a few pounds of weight gain on myself in those 21 days, but I physically felt different and I could see like nobody else would notice, but I could see a look difference. You know, me looking at myself naked, I could tell a little difference, but that was just like the door opening. Like at the end of the 21 days, that's like your real beginning because the first 21 days in my opinion are like a great conditioning, like practice. And so I kind of look at 21 days as conditioning practice. And I do think in three months, I, I get it now why like back in the day, P90X was three months. I get it now why Shanti has, you know, 16 weeks and like all these, because it is like a good solid three month commitment for sure. And that, that's where you can see like, okay, this is sustainable. And if you haven't found a way to make it sustainable in three months, you really need to reevaluate. That's, you should really go back and re-listen to what you just said and make post out of it. Cause it was awesome. Like, I think setting people up for the reality of like, you know, doing your first program, if you haven't worked out, you might gain muscle. That's in, in, it might add weight. That's not a bad thing because that would derail someone who was like, this is my year. Oh my God. I gained weight. I'm out. You know, like they need to know the ebbs and flows. Um, I always tell people, I can't tell you how quickly you're going to see results. I don't know how you're going to attack the program. What I do know is if you give it your all, you can start seeing results like day one and feeling the results, but that's up to the individual. Like I actually share with my app, I'm like, I can guarantee results starting on day one based on individual effort. I don't know how you're doing the program. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing the meal plan um, and just different things like that. What I've noticed from working with other coaches and where people fall short of seeing results, tracking. Oh my gosh, you guys, people are not tracking correctly. They're tracking like grapes, bread, chicken. Great. Did you have a pound of grapes? Did you have five grapes? I mean, it's crazy, but like that is a huge issue that that's the reason that a lot of people are not seeing results because they're lazy with their tracking. Or I, I share with people like you might bust it with a workout every day, but then be lazy with your choices. That, that's a problem. You know, these are all great things I feel to be talking about and help people to, you know, start off the right way. Well, for, for if you're doing 2B Mindset, you don't actually have to put like amounts. I mean, you can. That's the whole point of 2B Mindset. That's where you have to be specific. That's the whole point. Like, um, cause if you're like, if you're following the plated system, you need to know, like she actually shares in the videos, like what, you know, in cheese, don't do shredded cheese in the beginning, do sliced cheese. So you know what you're having. That's where you have to be really specific. That's actually the program I was like talking about because, you know, even though your plate, I mean, you might have a measure it. huge plate. So if you don't know, like what you've had, like I had grapes. Okay. Well, what does a quarter of a plate look like of grapes? Did you have 20 grapes? Did you have 50 grapes? What does that look like? Cause if you're not getting the goals, you need to take down, you know, your portions. And usually those people just need to eat the grapes instead of something else. <laughs> Cause I mean that, that becomes down to the choices of real life of also like, you know, this or that, you know, if you want to eat the thing that you've been eating, like what is there an alternative for? But yeah, that that's where, that's still why I like, I'm so like working out 
is so much more black and white. <laughs> it's so much easier. The food and the nutrition is, it's so, it's tricky I, until you fake, until you like truly understand it for yourself, which is why for me, I always end up staying more away from the nutrition because I don't, I don't know how to explain like portion fix. I love portion fix. Cause a, it told me my, it gave me visualizations for my macros. Like I'm like, Oh, these are macros. Cause everybody's like, Oh, what's the macros? I don't know. I'm tracking them on my fitness pal. It tells me what it is. I have no idea if that's right for my body, if that's right for me, whatever. And I would put in all my, my fitness pal stuff, but that was like figuring it out after the fact. I'm like, I ate it. I'm putting it in. Let's see what it is. And the portion fix for me was like, wow, that's awesome because it, I'm like, I don't have to track like that. I can get a visual on it. And it's like built in macros, those little, little colorful things. I'm like, oh, these are all my macros. <laughs> if I just fill these up and do this, that is like, wow. To me, that became like a new freedom when I got, when I'm like, okay, fine. I'm just going to learn about these portion. Cause I, I did all the stuff and ignored those little containers for so long until I'm like, okay, fine. I'm going to try it. Cause I'm sick of my fitness pal. I've been doing this for two years and it's driving me crazy that like worrying about putting in my fitness pal was like part of my day and I hated doing it. And um, it worked for me for a little while until, you know, I evolved and I got more educated and I learned a lot more stuff over just that process. But part of those, like, I didn't realize I was never eating enough fruit before. Like now my whole way of eating has changed, but I was never eating enough fruit because of those containers. I didn't know that I was, that, that was like a good amount of fruit to have a balanced diet, you know, and those types of things. And, um, the, the carbs was like, oh my gosh, only those car It was only those carbs. Yes. But at the same time, I'm like, wow, that looks tiny. I was eating way more, but also on some days I was eating none. So like I was, you know, I didn't ever keep my body like in a good balanced, consistent way for my body to always be like able to figure out what it was burning and what it was using and getting all the nutrients to support every day. But that's so confused. It's, but that's been like a three-year process. And I'm like, holy shit, where do people even start on that? Especially when they don't want to really start. They want to have an easy, you know, followable thing, which is why fitness has become my go-to for people to start out. And the nutrition side is like so much more tricky. Again, like I can't stop sharing how important your shares are right now. And I hope, you know, everyone else is kind of seeing this, but like your journey has not just been get a program and do it perfectly from day one. You just shared, you didn't even do the meal plans. You were using my fitness pal, which is great. That was a start. But then I, I have so many clients and coaches. Um, Wendy is a coach that she wasn't using the meal plans for like, I don't know, the first two years and she was getting frustrated. I'm like, dude, use the freaking meal plan. And then the minute she actually started on it, she's like, oh my God, this like really works. <laughs> and she was doing my fitness pal. And then, you know, so it's like sharing those things are important. It's like, look at you now. It's like, you just, you were always doing something. It may not have been perfect, but being consistent with something got you to where you're at now. Yeah, it was, it was the consistency and effort and being willing to learn, like to learn, honestly, it was open-mindedness to be open-minded enough to learn and not just like, you know, like the monkey see monkey do like, Oh, what's this person doing? Oh, what's this person doing? No, I needed to find out what I, I was doing, you know? Secondhand information does not get you to your goals. It doesn't. I always say slow down to speed up. People do not read the directions. Go ahead, get a board game. Try and just figure it out. You're going to get frustrated with a simple board game. Read the damn directions and you're like, oh, this is fun. Yeah, no shit. Take your time. Like, what did you join for? So. Anybody else want to talk? I mean, John, this is a great call between you and me. <laughs> I was going to say that I still never have really like the only time I followed a, a meal plan to a T was when I was in the 21 day fixed extreme test group. Other than that, I just, you know, I don't follow a meal plan and, and it makes me crazy if I do. So I, and I'm actually like, I've lost, 
I've actually lost six pounds, which is a lot for me. And I'm not, and I'm actually like, now I'm, I'm, I need to figure out how to gain weight. Cause I don't like, I don't, I don't want to be too thin to me. It's too thin for me. Like D Diana was like, Oh, I want to start running now because <laughs> she's like, I, I, I see how lean you've gotten. And I'm like, for me, I, I, I like a little bit more muscle, a little bit more like meat on my bones. I just like myself that way. Um, which is funny because I used to want to be like as skinny as I as skinny as possible, but like I'm hitting like 131, which I'm more comfortable at like 135. I feel happier. Um, so, and I know it's just because I've changed up, I've changed up my because I started running, and that's just something that's so different from my body that I just started like dropping weight, and I can't, I don't know, I can't keep weight on now. So I'm like, I need to change my meal plan. I need to start eating more. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I need to add in like more fat, like more like nuts, like oils, like something like, I'm like, what can I, like, how can I not keep losing weight? Cause I don't well, want to don't track now. Um, Cause I'm the same way as you. I don't follow meal plans. I really don't. And I'm pretty open about that. But what I will share with people is like, you need to do it at least for like two weeks track know what works and what doesn't and then when you figure out what works you can kind of go off the cuff so i would suggest tracking to see what it is that you're doing and then you can start playing around with like okay i'm going to add here is this working for me but like you know you need a starting point now with what you do do and then play around with adding things here and there and seeing what works and what doesn't figuring it out and then going back to just doing you know yeah, because I now I don't follow any meal plan either. I just eat because I know I I know it now. Like I know what how to eat, you know, and I know how to live my life and be able to make choices and eat. Um, but also, Marissa, for your point though too, is I would I you like to Stephanie's point. Yeah, you got to know again. Like it's like a new no. You need to now newly know what you're doing again because you have changed up what you're doing enough that it's making an impact. And also I still, if you're going to break it down just into calories and whatnot, you still, even though you're running, I still probably isn't like a ton more stuff that you need. Maybe you just need another snack or some, you know, a nut butter in your thing or something in your smoothie or something like that. Like, it's not going to be something that's going to be like, oh my God, I need to eat like three more meals. I'm sure it's just, if you don't want to lose the weight, you need to know what you're doing. And then it's probably another healthy snack or something just to compensate. I would assume like maybe like a, I mean, a protein, I would just look at like the meal plans because typically they don't change the orange. They don't change the blue. They change the teaspoons. So yeah, I mean, John, like what you said, like it could be like a nut butter and then like maybe adding in a protein or maybe adding in a carb, like probably one of those three or maybe all three, depending on what works okay. for you. I never really eat all the same things every day. So it's not like I know, like, it's not like I like eat this much every day. I just kind of, I've always just like, I eat when I'm hungry. I eat what I want to. <laughs> and I'm Well, just, have you been hungrier? No. Well, I mean, then what do you need more for? <laughs> or unless you feel like you're, unless you feel like you're like shriveling up and dying. Like, if no, you're not I don't hungry, think I'm dying. I just think I'm, I would like to, I would like to gain some, a little, a couple pounds back. That's all. I feel, I feel like too thin for me. That's all. I just, I like myself better with a little more weight on. So, and I, and I was like, oh, well, I'll just like, I, I felt like I was like still eating a lot and I'm like, oh, I can eat even more cause I'm like losing. Right. And then I just lost three more pounds. Like now I've lost a total of six. Like I had lost three and I was like, wow, I'm like, okay, I'm good with that, but I definitely don't want to lose any more. And now I did. So, well, are you just going based on pound? Could it be muscle, your muscles changing? I mean, it could be, it definitely could be. Maybe I'm not, because I'm not lifting as much. I was thinking maybe I'm losing muscle, but that sucks. I want to keep my muscle. <laughs> I guess that would make sense if I'm running, it's more cardio and I'm not doing as much lifting. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that that's not going to come back when you start, start doing the more. Cause like right now I'm doing my transform 20 and I definitely can, I know my muscles have, I know they're still there obviously, but like, I know my biceps have gone down a little bit just because of doing the, the work verse. Now I'm doing like the Shanti stuff, but I kind of, I wanted to change up, you know? So maybe you're, you just changed up what you were doing, which means your body's just, you know, reacting differently. But again, if you feel good, maybe I, you don't put the, that idea in your head of, Oh, I, I want to gain more weight. It, I mean, it's really is like, you can feel good. That's important. And if your running feels good and I mean, maybe it's all good. I look in the mirror and I think I'm too thin. That's all. Yeah. Oh. yeah.
for me. That's all. Anyway, all right. Well, it's been an hour. Thank you, Stephanie and Jana, for leading the call today. <laughs> I appreciate you because I've been, like I said, I was, I was almost going to cancel the call today because I was like, I don't know if I'm up for that, but I was like, well, we'll just hop on and I'll just let it run, you know, however it wants to run. Um, so I appreciate you guys for getting on and making it a success. And um, I hope you all have a good week and I'll see you guys next Saturday. Thanks, you too. I recorded it, so I'll post it in the team page. Thanks, ladies. Bye. See you.